this second video tutorial about creating a multi-layered hand, we're going to start off by going into our favorites folder. This is in the node library, so I'm going to go and get an overlay layer. So if we remember correctly, the two four fingers are at the overlay layer right here. So I've connected the overlay module to um, the, the first one. I'm getting another overlay for the second finger. Finger three and four are located in the underlay layer. So I need an underlay node that I'm going to bring in and connect under each of these, just like that. So now on, when I select my first finger and my second finger, it contains both and the exact same thing as the first one. And under finger three and four, they both contain the two uh, backmost fingers of my hand. What I want to do at this point is separate these two fingers so that they're, they don't animate together. What I'm going to do is use different colors to separate both of my fingers. So I'm going to come and repaint some of these. Now right here I've got my thumb that is using the line color and the fingers color. Now I want to have a second color for this. Now as we've learned before the colors inside of our color swatches are not exclusive to the RGB of the color which means that you could have three or five or a hundred different color swatches that all contain exactly the same RGB or the same color and they would not necessarily be the exact same thing. They would link to the information that's inside your camera view. So I'm going to use two different colors to create my fingers. I'm seeing is how we can separate colors with the color overrides what we're going to do after is create a color override to separate them. So I'm going to change the color of my art. I already have two colors created within my palette. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to repaint the second one. Either use the select tool by selecting the line and then clicking on the other color or you could just select the paint bucket or the ink tool works as well for the pencil lines. Of course, since this is exactly the same color, it doesn't necessarily show that you've painted it. If you're not sure, go and change the color to make it a wacky color just to see, okay, well, these are not the same color. They're actually different colors. And then you can set it back to black later on. I'm going to be using it again a little bit more, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm painting as well the color of the nail. can come and change it again if I want to be certain that I've painted it and that I didn't use the exact same color as the other finger. You can use the color picker to go back to your original color right there. So now these two fingers are their own different colors. So I'm going to go and get a color override that I will connect underneath using the third port. Right now it's reading everything as uh, per what is highlighted on my camera. So I'm going to go into my layer properties, go and select my palette and under render selected colors only, I'm going to select render selected colors. So right now it's no longer rating anything because I don't have any colors in there. I'm going to go and get the line and the fingers color. Now, as we can see, our drawing is only showing the thumb because the other one is using different colors. I'm just going to rename this a different name. Just like that. And I'm going to create another color override. 
bring one in, connect to third port, and on the layer properties, I'm going to use the other two colors that I have. So line finger two. So what's happening here, if I go and get my display, I'm gonna show display two. Here I have just the thumb showing, and here I have just the other finger showing. Meaning that no matter how many hand positions I have inside of my uh, character, I could create a hundred different hands with fingers positioned differently. I could come and uh, move slightly the thumb or the uh, any fingers, basically. I can come and change slightly the, uh, the position and that's going to make it look a lot more natural. When you do little movements, you can have subtle uh, little changes in the fingers and that adds a lot in your animation. Now I could have separated uh, every finger on a complete different layer but now the advantage of this is that when I select a different hand in my uh, drawing substitution library is that it will come and reposition everything automatically and I'll still have the possibility of creating uh, different positions by coming to move the fingers. Of course, you don't necessarily have to separate them for every possible drawing that you have. Like sometimes if you have a closed fist or something like that, you won't necessarily need to have all of your uh, fingers separated. So what you could do at this point, you always have the possibility of just creating all of your fingers on the overlay layer, for example. Now, if we're going to finish up our first hand right here, we also have two layers in the underlay. So I'm just going to move this one to the side for a sec. And I'm going to come and paint this with the finger color, line color for our first finger. And I'm going to come and paint the other one with line finger, finger two. So line two and finger two. And I can come and reposition this one in the back, just like so. Now I have the color override that needs to be inserted in. So I'm gonna come and bring in a new color override. Or actually what I could do at this point, since this one is color override line color Two, I could come and copy these two, paste them, and reuse these to come and separate the different colors. So now in my finger three, I have only this one, and in my finger four, I have just this one. Now, of course, at this point, what I need to do is go and remove any. Uh, artwork of the fingers on my line art and color art because otherwise they'll be moving but you'll still get a uh, ghost of the artwork under it. So I'm going to go and reposition that, tweak a little bit, just like so. I'm going to come and paint and I'll just grab that and go over and paste it over to the color art layer. So I can come and move any drawing that I want. Uh, there is one last thing that we're gonna need to do. And now, as you can see, all of my layers are separated, but in my original layer, the hand, I currently don't have anything filtering all of the different layers that I have here. So if I move, for instance, the thumb, as you can see, I get a ghost image of everything I have here. If I deactivate all of these fingers, I can still see some of the artwork in the hand. So we don't necessarily want that. So we're going to bring in a uh, filter for the hand. So here, what's going on over 
on this side, I have the overlay layer that was being used before. So I'm going to come and disconnect that and keep strictly the line art and color art so that even if I deactivate all of my fingers, I won't get to see uh, any of the remaining artwork on there. So at this point, once you have your system, you can feel free to go and create some more hand drawings. Uh, you could create or duplicate uh, your current drawing and go and reposition some of these fingers uh, to make some wacky uh, hand positions if you wanted to. I'm going to go here and reposition some of these. like that. And if you wanted to bring in some fingers above the hand, what you could do is go and put a small Z value on top of it. You don't want to go and reorder them in the composite because that would change uh, a lot of your different hand positions. So you can just bring in a little Z value on top of that finger. If you wanted all of them to be on top, you would just do the same thing. And then just like that, you could um, come and adjust some of these positions uh, to bring some on top or behind. And if you need them to go back, you just simply uh, bring them with a small Z increment to the back. So that is how you would create a multi-layer hand. Um, create it for your front and back position and then after that you can go and separate the different positions that you get onto your front view as well. Um, don't forget that if you if you want to have a position that don't that you don't necessarily need to have all the fingers separated as well what you could do is uh, really easily create a new position. So now I've just created a new drawing here. And on my overlay, which sits on top of all of my hand, I could come and use all of my, delete all of my artwork and come over to my overlay and I could simply use the line art module, come and uh, create all of my different layers. If I had something like a, a fist clenched just like that, I could definitely come and do this and this will show entirely on my uh, overlay layer. So just one layer that I can move around just a little bit, but I won't have to get all the fingers separated because it's not always useful for all of your uh, fingers. So I hope that was helpful. Now you can go and create as many hand positions as you want. Uh, make sure that you don't forget to do your back hand and that you don't forget to do your front positions as well. You need to separate the artwork on all of these drawings. So I will see you guys in the next step.